Yes, the adventure of the un unbreakable speckled man. In a corner of that small dark room, Sholmes and I waited with bated breath. In time, there came from the ventilator a hiss and a soft, almost growl-like sound. Suddenly, Shom sprang into action, lashing oh, no. furiously with his cane at a point in the darkness. You see it, Wilson? He yelled, his tense voice reverberating through the air. I raised my dark lantern shutter and the room to view. Sholmes was staring intently at one particular corner when he started whispering to me. The victim's most perplexing final words. The speckled band. I believe this is the terrible coil to which she referred, Wilson. In front of us was an enormous adder, its fangs bared as it threatened to strike. Mm -hmm. It truly was the most terrible speckled band I had ever seen. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did hear it. I did hear it. I did hear it. There's no problem in the audio. So then, let us unravel this mystery. Awesome. Discover what events led to this curious murder. Pray, do excuse me. The cabin door was bolted from the inside yeah. when the man was killed. No marks to suggest the bolt was tampered with in any way. So, this would appear to be a locked room mystery. It's him. In his final game, the victim scored a mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost certainly with the ink from this upset bottle. Yeah. A Russian word. <laughs> so, the victim was a Russian man then. Yeah. <laughs> Suggesting he was compass mentors at the time. This is a most extraordinary script. And evidently not penned by the same hand as this message. In fact, I deduce it was written by someone of a different nationality. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this paper seal was placed just prior to the incident. The victim himself, I would venture. Well, what have we here? Hmm. Ah, who are you? Oh, and what do you think you're doing here? Da, da! No one must touch before maritime police come. We must wait! Shh. That won't be necessary. You see, in less than five seconds from now, I will reveal the killer to you. What? <gasps> oh, don't be absurd! This is murder! I need cabin locked no. from the inside! Ah, yes, the locked room. But that mystery is paper thin. <laughs> you, you don't mean the culprit is in there? Yeah. Who, who are you? Oh. And where have you come from? I'm a great British consultant detective, the only one in the world. Herlock Sholmes. I presume you must have heard of me. Herlock Sholmes. <laughs> Yes, Helix Shams. <laughs> Not Sherlock Holmes, but Helix Shams. And by the way, uh, uh, it was uh, one of the stories of uh, Sherlock Holmes that was called uh, Speck on Bird or, some, uh, or something like that. Mm -hmm. I read this book and uh, uh, this story. And uh, it really was a story about, uh, about a venomous snake. That was hiding in the attic and uh, killed uh, one of the women living here. Oh, I see. Interesting. If you're interested, you may read it. Okay. If you. Uh, yeah. If you haven't already. What's going on? Something's not right here. There's trouble in the air. Wait, I I can't move. The why am I in handcuffs? Hmm, so you wake up now. Hmm. Ah. Okay, you voice act him. We had to drag you out of wardrobe. Yeah. I don't believe how you could not wake up. 
You are a true cold-blooded man. I'm not again. <laughs> Come on. I guess it again. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Uh, you found me then. Duh, we found you. And now you pay, criminal. Okay, I'm going to give him a Russian accent. Duh, we found you. And now you criminal. pay, <laughs> criminal. How long are you hiding in that tiny water? <laughs> okay, now I just sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, now you have been found. It is time to admit your crimes. Unless you want to find out how cold the ocean is, hmm? No, no, I I'll tell you everything. There's only one thing I'd like to know for Who is that? Isn't that... Oh, I see, hot... Satosa. Why did you do it? Why did you take his life? Holy shit, really? Wait, what did you just say? Take his life? Um, where, where is he? Where's Kazuma? Oh my god, Kazuma's dead? Ha! Huh. You pretend, pretend you do not know. You are a wolf in the ship's pelt. You are the killer. Do not try to make excuses. Katsusama's Kazuma body was discovered not long ago. Oh, holy shit. Here, in this very cabin, there is bolted shut from the inside. His, his body? Please! Do not try to tell us you were doing this terrible thing in your sleep. Kazuma's dead? But he can be. And these handcuffs. Do you don't think I. I have to know. Why did you take Kazuma's Sama's life? Answer me, please! No. Not this shit again! No! <laughs> Great voice, I think. Great, great. Kazuma, it was just two short weeks ago. Are you sure about this? Won't you get in trouble? <laughs> Don't you find it fun being a strawberry? Besides, how else could you come to England with me to study? It's really something else when they brought your luggage in here earlier, though. The way the Russian crewman just tossed your trail and case it onto the floor. I thought I was going to die. Yes, I still can't believe that. I really didn't think you were, you'd be able to fit inside my trunk. You must be even less of a man than you look. <laughs> oh, excuse me? <laughs> hey, what? I thought I'd broken every bone in my body. Well, it's about 50 days until we dock in Great Britain. But if you confine yourself to my cabin here, I don't expect anyone else will discover you. I hope not. I get the feeling those Russians wouldn't be very forgiving for stowaway. They're a sturdy bunch, that's for sure. What I don't know is, why do we need to keep it a secret from the young lady? From our faithful judicial assistant, Mikitaba, you mean? From your close friend, more to the point. Surely we could hunt fighting her, couldn't we? Don't believe she'd give me away. No, but if she knew what we've done, well, that would make her guilty by association. It's best that all you and I know about this. I suppose so. Anyway, it's about time that we steward this to come and clean the cabin. I know it's cramped, but you better get in there. I think it won't be for long. And anyway, compared to the hiding inside my traveling case, it'll be a breeze. 
Yes, but if the steward decides to open the wardrobe for some reason, I'll be in for it. Stop worrying. I tell you what, why don't you write keep out or something on this piece of paper? Then I can stick it over the wardrobe doors once you're inside. <laughs> Wait, that, that seriously couldn't have what happened. Be... Like... How could this have happened? We were supposed to be going on an adventure to England together. We leave you next port. Stay quiet until then. Don't make more trouble for yourself. Murderer. No, I'm not a murderer. Da, you said before. You said you admit everything about your crimes. No, that's not right. I mean, yes, I did stow away on the ship, but... Murder my best friend? No one else could have done it. Admit the truth. I'm Susato-san. Please, tell me what happened. I need to know. Very well. But there is something I would like to ask you of you too. Those eyes. She looks like she's ready to destroy me. <laughs> This sniper is getting worse by the minute. I suppose all I can do is try to find out what really happened. Okay, tell me about Kazuma's death. Okay. He really has been killed, isn't he? This is just a bad dream. These handcuffs, you think I did it? You think I'm Kazuma's killer? When they found him, the cabin was locked from the inside. What do you mean? There is no access to the cabin via a porthole window, and the bolt on the door can't be operated from outside. In other words, after the crime, the culprit couldn't have escaped these four walls. What? Or, or to put it another way, the culprit can only have been somebody inside this cabin. Or do you have uh, some other explanation? This is impossible. How did he die then? What happened exactly? Are you still going to deny the charge? Even despite the circumstances? Please, Susato-san, you have to tell me. The cause of death is still undetermined. I don't know how he died. The ship's door is examining the bo the ship's doctor is examining the body, but of course, he has no post mortem analysis experience. I don't suppose we shall learn more until an expert has been consulted at our next port of call. Well, presumably, that means uh, there were no obvious external signs of injury then? That's true, yes. Can't anyone tell me what actually happened here in this cabin? I don't understand it. Why would anyone want to kill Kazuma? Presumably that's uh, something you know the answer to better than anyone else. Please. Whatever you say, you were here in the cabin after all. Well, yes, I was, but... He would always m wake before dawn and do his training first thing in the morning. I was waiting outside his cabin as I have every day so, so far on this voyage. But this morning he did not come. I could sense that he wouldn't. Does that mean he was already dead once the sun arrived right at his cabin door? I wonder. I knocked, but there was no reply. Then I started to become worried, so I went to find a member of the crew. The 
The crewman forced the cabin door open, and when we managed to get inside, there was Kazuma-san collapsed on the floor. Karatere, oh, Karatere, oh, so that was a twist. Uh, yeah, what a twist. So there was uh, Kazuma. Okay, uh, unfortunate. No idea anything that happened. I I must have been asleep in this in the wardrobe. I wish it wasn't the case, but that's just very really hard to believe. It's all very hard to believe for me too. Trust me. Now I've told you everything that I know. So it's my turn to ask you a question. Yes, alright. <sighs> I had feel so heavy. I'm still trembling like anything. Okay, I'll take care of that later. Okay. So, stowaway. Stowaway. Why are you even on the board ship, Naruhoto-san? You said something before about being a stowaway, didn't you? It's it's two weeks since we left Japan now, and I've been shut up in this cabin the entire time. I had no idea. Uh, but how could you have occupied Kazuma Sama's cabin for so long without him noticing? Ah, uh, he noticed. <laughs> no, no, no. That would have been impossible, obviously. Yes, of course. <laughs> Kazuma invited me. He wanted us to go to England together. He actually asked you? But why? I'm afraid I don't really know the reason myself. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, he just wants to be with his buddy. I mean, that's pretty good reason. M maybe. Uh, you know, uh, it's a sitcoms when uh, two fellows... Uh, uh, are uh, living together and uh, doing uh, some things. <laughs> yeah. We don't. Okay, never mind. Uh, Kazuma, why do you want this? What's the real reason? I go to such extreme lengths to smuggle me to England with you. Yeah, this theme, I like it so much. It's an idea that's been on my mind ever since the end of that incredible trial. I think I told you then, didn't I? That you have to become a lawyer yourself. Yes, well, yes, you did say that, but I didn't think you were serious. You have a talent for it. I can assure you of that. But I've never really thought about becoming a lawyer. Well, that's something you can decide for yourself. London is at the spearhead of the cultural development, the center of the world in many ways. There can't be any harm in seeing such an important place with your own eyes, can there? Well, no, definitely not. But on a personal level, if you were to become a lawyer then... Then what? Nothing. Forget it. Question mark. Custom Smiles. He was always saying the same thing. That he wanted to change the Japanese legal system. I didn't really Perhaps he thought that he could do that with you. Yes, maybe. But something's still bothering me a little. The look in his eyes then. It was darker than I've ever seen it before. Hmm, and what was he thinking? That's interesting. Um, Susato-san, I'm sorry that I really kept it a secret from you. My stole in the way of the ship, I mean. If I know Kazuma-sama, I expect he was trying to protect me toward me becoming guilty by uh, inclusion. That's that's exactly right. Yes, worked perfect. In fact, okay. Last night. If you're not the culprit, then tell me. What happened last night here in this cabin? Well, the thing is, I don't really remember. 
Azuma brought me something to eat, just like he always did. And then I got myself to that wardrobe over there, just like I always did. After that I... Fell asleep? Um, well, yes. So deeply that you didn't even stir when Kazuma Sama was killed? Um, well, yes. <laughs> he had a really good dinner then. Maybe there was something inside it. Yeah. He was inside of this wardrobe. I know it sounds unbelievable, really I do, but it's the truth. If only I had woken up, then perhaps I won't be in this predicament. And for some reason, my head's still throbbing like anything. Oh yeah, there's probably some sort of a, a sli sleeping agent inside his food. That's probably why he slept, maybe? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, really? Really? Yes. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> really? Um, is something wrong? Oh, um, no, it's... Please, forget it. Sato san you have to believe me, I didn't do it. I... I really don't want to doubt you. But the trouble is, there is no one else who could possibly have done this. Kazuma, I don't understand. Why? Why did this happen? What happened? <sighs> I can't take this. Don't try to go anywhere! You are the perpetrator of this crime. You can't leave. I can't allow that to happen. I'm sorry, but Kazuma was killed right under my nose here, and I didn't do anything to stop it. And now I'm supposed to just sit around, my hands tied, while whoever did this walks free? No, I can't allow that to happen. Well, what do you propose to do then? I'm going to investigate. I'm going to find out exactly what happened here. I'm going to work out who took Kazuma's life and how and why they did it. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to excuse me. Haya! <laughs> Holy shit, he, he just. Oh shit! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what the. <laughs> There was a Sato takedown! A su Susato what? What martial art form is that? I can imagine him uh, he, with the pose that he is now in. Yeah, the, he, like literally in that anime pose where his legs are uh, above his yes. head. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm going to need you to prove it. Sorry? Prove it? Yes, your innocence. I need evidence. But but how am I supposed to? Have you forgotten already what you achieved just a few weeks ago? You successfully defended yourself in a court of law. Ah, I see. She's expecting me to present some conclusive evidence. I have to get Susato san to believe me. I'll show you some evidence right now. In this position, <laughs> that proves I'm not guilty in this awful crime. All oh, right, if he tried to get out, then this paper will be torn. So paper seal yes. is the one. Yes. yes. <laughs> Tell me, when I was discarded in the wardrobe before, was this piece of paper stuck over the? Wait, door? so Shom's kind of messed up, huh? He just like yes. uh. In the opening cutscene, he just accused me of murder. Like, Rinuski of murder. That's what happened? Yes. That's dumb. Oh, uh, Oh, yes, it was. I remember clearly. I thought so. Kazuma always put in, it in place whenever I went to sleep in there. Just in case the Captain Stewart or another crew member decided to look inside. So naturally, he did the same last night as well. You know, you, may, uh, you um, now may uh, get up on your feet. <laughs> yes, of course. The gentleman who discovered you peeled that sign from the wardrobe doors before he opened them. But if I were truly the culprit, 
I couldn't have climbed back inside the wardrobe and stuck this on the outside of the doors on my own. Yes, that's quite true. In other words, it's impossible that I killed Kazuma. Well, even if you are sprawled hopelessly on the floor, I can see why Kazuma-sama thought so highly of you. Yeah. Thank you, susato -san. Now, do you think perhaps you could help me up? After such a long dialogue, you decided to... <laughs> well, in the light of that evidence, I don't see any reason why I should stop you from investigating in here at least. Thank you! So you finally believe me? I'm sorry. No. What? I'm not sure yet. I can't rule out the possibility that you use some sort of conjuring trick to put the sign back in position. What does she think I am? A magician? For now, I suggest you investigate as fully as possible in here. I'll do the same. Do you hear the music? Yeah, yeah. I hear it. Wonderful! It all works just wonderful. Yeah. I'm so happy in that now. <laughs> Alright, let's get to work, susato san yeah. Please don't misunderstand me. I yeah, still have my doubts. Yeah. Oh. I shall be watching you to make sure you do not do nothing that might disturb the crime scene. I wouldn't want you using your conjuring tricks to destroy evidence, for example. Right. Well, anyway, I should make a start investigating me here. Examine everything I can. Azuma, I swear. On my own grave, I will avenge you death. That's cool. Um, yeah, we already discussed everything, huh? Let's investigate. Um. Did, did Kazuma write that before he died? It looks like it's written in ink. He must have knocked the ink pot from the disc when he collapsed on the floor. Then I suppose he wrote this message by dipping his finger in the spillage. Guard it up! Guard it up! <laughs> Poor Kazuma-sama. No doubt he was in terrible pain. It's almost unbearable to imagine it. I suppose he was trying to leave some kind of a clue in his final moments, was he? I'm sorry, partner, but I can't read your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's Japanese, naruto san What? Then, then what language is it? It pains me to admit it, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, she doesn't know, okay. You don't, you don't know Russian. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, Kazuma maybe too didn't know Russian. Maybe, maybe, like, I mean, I was kind of wondering <laughs> too, like, Kazuma is such a good student, so maybe he might have learned Russian at his free time, but like, why would he write that, you know? That's the question. Uh, to, yes, to point out Junoske, that's the point. Yeah. Uh, to point out Junoske, it was the culprit's mode. Hey, so what does Kartarev mean? Do you know Russian? Yes. What does Kartarev mean? I can speak Russian if I want. Kartarev is wardrobe. <laughs> oh, I see. So it definitely is a, a framing of Junoske. Like the reason I yes. wasn't like understanding what you're understanding why you made the furious because i don't know the meaning of the word garderobe see i'm a mongolian and we do use the uh, russian uh letters but but so we can read russian but unfortunately i just don't know the meaning of the word garderobe uh -huh. uh, also this word means uh uh your whole uh choice of uh, clothes uh like when uh <laughs> Russian person says, uh, "In my wardrobe is a lot of things." That means that uh, yeah, they have a lot of clothes. 
Ага. Гардероб also means uh, white choice yes. of uh, clothes. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And it's it's not a foreign script I'm familiar with. What does it mean, I wonder? Oh dear, that won't do. Oh, what's the matter, Sato-san? Whenever I'm examining things, I always find myself so focused, I forget to look around properly. Also, I wonder <laughs> when uh, localization uh, when there was a localization of this game, uh, was it uh, written in Russian? Like they didn't change uh, the word? I mean, yeah, they probably didn't change because why? There's no point in doing that. Besides, yeah, I'm pretty sure it has to be Russian because, like, whoever committed this crime could also be Russian, maybe. Yeah, I I, I was just uh, talking about that. Okay. Yeah. I yes, that's not good. I don't suppose you're as foolish as me in that regard, are you, Nakata-san? I'm sure you're careful to look around using the left and right stick of your Nintendo, <laughs> Nintendo Switch, are you? <laughs> now let's investigate yes. all corners of this cabin. Okay, okay. Yes, let's do that. I suppose my field of vision has been rather small until now. That's a very large traveling case, isn't it? Yes, it carries a lot of memories for me. Memories? What do you mean? Oh! <laughs> well, that's actually how I was towed away in this vessel. I was brought on board inside the case. Ah, yes, I see it says this way up in Japanese. Which in hindsight, I should have realized the foreign crewman would be able to read. I was turned over and over and over, and then I was tossed to the floor in here. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh dear, being a story isn't as romantic as it sounds. Well, it was less painful than the suicide to take down. <laughs> <laughs> Books have fallen over on the shelf, look, they all toppled the same way. Then what's this? A statue of some god of the sea? Although he's fallen over as well. Yes, it's almost as if the whole shelf has been ransacked and everything mown down at once. I wonder if perhaps it was Kazuma was doing this morning, uh, his morning training or training. I seriously doubt it. Then perhaps it was you, Naruto san in a fit of rage. I won't have bothered leaving the wardrobe just to mess up a few books and, sta and the statue. Could the way these things have been thrown about have anything to do with the case, I wonder? Well, I'll just set everything straight again. I don't like to uh, see mess. Oh, you can't do that. She can do that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not you're uh, disturbing the crime scene, come on. Disturbing the crime scene, but uh, there is no police here, so it's not illegal for you. Right the point now, isn't so. about illegal or legal. The point is that uh, it's bad because it's making it harder to uh, to investigate and remember the truth. Yeah, and especially considering how bad cameras were. Actually, that ac that action of hers will be very helpful later. Oh, okay. These sure. are the rules of yeah. passage for travel aboard. The SS Buria. It's essentially a list of requests from the captain to all passengers on board. Warning signs. Sorry. Passengers must not keep weapons or other dangerous yeah. objects in their cabins. Pets are also strictly forbidden. Yeah, but Kazuma just doesn't listen. <laughs> Kazuma, why did you take a pet with you? Here, with you? What? Yeah. Why are you staring at me? Oh, sorry, I was just thinking. Are you more of a dangerous <laughs> object or a pet? <laughs> a pet, obviously. <laughs> I can't decide. Well, one thing's for sure. Either way, I wasn't supposed to be in here. Okay, let's talk with you, pal. Perhaps I should see what the Russian crewman. Crewman makes of the scene of crime. 
Um, excuse me. What? I I was wondering how it's going. Investigation, I mean. Also, if uh, <laughs> as I am uh, Russian, I would like to voice act uh, all these Russian uh, people. Okay. Okay. Uh, they will speak some Russian. They will speak some Russian phrases here. <laughs> so why not? Yeah. Grandmother told me Japanese people do not make jokes, but it, but is it is not true? I see. Sorry, the criminal asked investigator for information about his crime. Very funny. Oh, it wasn't supposed to be a joke. He doesn't appear to be laughing either. He's convinced you're guilty. He might have useful information though. Got to keep trying. So last night, did you notice anything of the ordinary at all? Нет, of course not. Now back to corner of room and make silent. I say no more to you. Mm, I di did I hit an nerve? Just for a minute there. Seemed a little faster. Okay, we finished with you. This is where dear Kazuma-sama would have sat whenever he was writing. London Diary. Poor Kazuma, he didn't even make it to his destination. It looks as though the last entry is incomplete. Which means, what? He was in the middle of writing it when the incident happened? Let's see what it says. It could be available clue. Hiya? Oh no. That's out of question. What? Cosmo Sama may have departed this world, but you must not read his private thoughts. But but what if it's something important, something relevant to the case? Alright, alright, I won't read it. Oh come on! Poor Cosmo Sama. I don't like prying uh, into people's personal matters either. But in this case, isn't the need for clues more important? Uh, okay, yes, the sword. It's the, his, the sword, please. It's his katana, yes. That's Kazuma-sama's precious sword. He, n he never went to anywhere without it. Yes, he was always saying that the Japanese man's katana is his soul. I believe he had uh, to work very hard to convince the government to allow him to bring it on this trip. Uh, uh, I want to ask you something. Okay. Uh, it's about uh, your country. I see. Is English, uh, is English the second language of your country? That's why Not you really, but it is great. one of the more popular uh, uh, foreign languages. I'm just kind of out of the norm. I was pretty good at English in my school. Then I got even better when I uh, my family got internet. So yeah, I'm kind of out of the norm. But yeah. there are people who are really good at English in my country too. That's great. It's a status uh, land. I believe he had to work very hard to convince the government to allow him to bring it on this trip. I suppose this shows just how important it was for, to him. And now he's gone. But I'm not ready to let his spirit go just yet. Mm. That's my dinner from last night, a roast chicken. It was really tasty. Yes, it was very delicious, wasn't it? But... Yeah. Did you eat it on the floor here? Yes, I'm a pet. <laughs> I'm not a dog, Susato Satan. I ate at the table, of course. Which begs the question of when and how the pet ended up on the floor. But Kazuma sama didn't like chicken at all, did he? No, that's right, so he didn't touch it. Which meant all the more for me. Oh no! Does, does that mean? Poor Kazuma-sama spent his last night on his earth with an empty belly? 
It's just too horrible. Uh, now I suddenly have to a guilty con uh, conscience and I and the uh, his stomach. Okay. There is never on this table at all. The plate and the cutlery are all over the floor for some reason. Yes, it's strange. Last night when I went to sleep, I'm sure everything was still. No, wait a minute. What is it? It's funny. I, I can't seem to remember anything about what happened after dinner at all. So, so then perhaps you are responsible for what happened to Kazuma-sama. No, no, no. Eiji, the Japanese worst word for justice. The brush strokes are straight and true, just like Kazuma. Yes, his calligraphy always was a reflection of his heart. Yet you, can you really look at those characters without feeling shame, knowing who drew them so for uh, thoughtfully? Of course I can. I mean, I'm innocent, so why shouldn't I be able to? Even for you stowed stow away on this ship? Now you're going to build it up, are you? I can't win. Oh. No, yeah, there's a blood stain. Yeah. No, it's not. Oh, wait, what? What do you think this is? It looks like a broken piece of glass. Oh, there. I see. Whatever the thing was, uh, it appears to have broken clean in two. The glass is such a beautiful color. It looks like a cute little Netsuke fastener from a kimono outfit. Not sure that it sounds like Kazuma. He would have secretly carried a cute little trinket like this around with him, would he? And the mark beside it, what is it I wonder? It's a sort of uh, brick-like hue. Yes, you're right. It's a color of brick, isn't it? Even though I don't see anything the same color anywhere else in the cabin. Okay. Move along. Let's check out Guardian Rope. Mm -hmm. It's some two, uh, two weeks since we sailed from Japan. Have you really been living in that wardrobe the entire time, Naruhoto-san? I think living isn't quite the right description. Oh no, I suppose not. Although it must have been rather exciting making this voyage in your own secret hideout. <laughs> the trouble was, I now knew when a member of the crew might come in. So yes, I did basically have to leave the wardrobe. And last night was no exception. But because of that, you had no idea what was happening out here in the cabin. No, deadly not. The bed. Oh, okay. This is... yes. It's a bell cord con contraption, I think. What do you mean, contraption? I read about it in a book I was studying that talked about life in Great Britain. Large households often have bell cords like this, which you can pull to ring a bell to some servants. Really? It sounds almost magical. Shall we give it a little try? <laughs> yes! In the interest of cultural research, obviously! <laughs> oh, it actually... ringed? Yes. I suppose nobody comes for lowly Japanese people. <laughs> no, no, I'm sure it's just that everyone is busy, that's all. Uh, we can check the beds uh, if you uh. I've investigated thoroughly, but I can't find anything out of place. Okay. Okay. So. There's a vent system right here. I think there's some kind of opening for a ventilator. A hole for which uh, fresh air can circulate into the cabin. 
Isn't that a little odd? What do you mean? Well, this, this ventilator, if what's that, what if that's what it is, looks like it must connect to the next door cabin. Yes, it will appear. It will appear too. You're right, huh? It will appear. So. But if its purpose is to allow fresh air into the room, surely it should be connected to the outside. Hmm, that's true. Perhaps it's so that rain and spray don't find their way in when he when the seas are rough, or something like that. I suppose maybe that's it. Oh, what the? Who's that? He wasn't there a minute ago. As I can tell, it looks like he might be European. Oh, how did he? Like he was on the way. Where did he come from? They literally said that. Where did he come from? Yeah. You noticed the man too, have you? I have no idea who he is or how he got here, but he looks suspicious and tall. Suspiciously tall. <laughs> Sasati is shocked. <laughs> Naruto-san, don't tell me. Do you really not know who that is? Um, well, no. I don't have any foreign friends or acquaintances at all. He doesn't look like a member of the crew. There is something very unusual about him. He is investigating Kazuma's desk. Or is he just playing on it? I can tell. Well, in that case, we simply must talk with him. Am I just imagining it, or does Usato san look almost uncontrollably excited? By the way, I expect that you noticed already, but just in case. If you press A on the people when they are in crosshairs, you can converse with them. Oh, come on. I already talked with the way they do. Alright then, I'll get a suspiciously tall gentleman in my sights and see what he has to say for himself. Oh, please do. Um, excuse me. Excuse me, do you have a moment? Shh! This is a critical point in my investigation. Maybe you should, should leave, leave him, alone. him alone. Or oh, your, 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 your turn. Yes. Maybe I should leave him alone. He seems a little unfriendly. Yeah, and you always suck hair like Shoms. <laughs> yes. I hope you will yeah, understand yeah, I think that's his, better. his behavior. Yes, perhaps that will be for the best. I'm taking all the Russians, so. Great. Oh, greetings. Oh. <laughs> What exactly were you doing Cosmos desk just now? Ah, I see. Fascinating. Uh, sorry, what do you see? It feels like he's looking right through me. <laughs> oh yes, everything is clear now. The train of reasoning has run its course. My deductions have crystallized. You. Have been Afghanistan, I perceive. I've been, been in Afghanistan, I perceive. Just recently returned, if I'm not mistaken. It's a phrase that uh, Sherlock Holmes said to Dr. Watson when they first met. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> in, in, in Sherlock Holmes uh, stories. <coughs> he helped him. Sorry. What? And now, we'll swing you in towards foreign climbs. You find yourself in the most troubling predicament. Oh, well, that's true at least. But, but how? How the de deuce did I know that, perhaps? It was really a most elementary deduction, dear Watson. <laughs> 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 Have you perhaps managed to deduce anything else? But of course, a great many things. There's no mystery, my dear madam. For example, you have fled your native land of Russia, being as you are a merciless revolutionary. 
You only have 16 victims of assassination in your wake and now travel to England to blow up the Crystal Tower. <laughs> and when the Bripband uh, occupant of this very cabin discovered your identity, you ended his life too. Yes, I believe that summarizes the facts beautifully. No need to hide the truth now. Nothing deceives these eyes. Um, just to be clear, you are talking about me, are you? Certainly I am. Do you see another in this cabin who fits the bill? A Russian assassin with 16 victims to his name? Don't even see one person who fits the bill. So it's true. No! <laughs> oh my god, it's you who did this to Kazuma sama <laughs> What? And, and you're plotting a revolution too! <laughs> but I'm not Russian! <laughs> it's, shameful, it's shameful behavior, Naruhoto-san! Absolutely wicked! No, it's not that I got grouped! No, listen, there is no... Hello! <laughs> Now explain yourself! Tell me everything! It's ridiculous. How would you do it? For pity's sake, open your eyes! I'm not a rash revolutionary, obviously! Oh, forgive me! And, and as for you, and, uh, what kind of deduction was that? You were just saying the first thing that came into your head, yes? Ah, but was I not right? Whilst venturing towards foreign climes, you do find yourself in a most troubling predicament, do you not? Well, yes, maybe. Ha! There you have it, you see. What do you make of that, hmm? Well, to be honest, this ship is en route to England, and I am in handcuffs at the scene of the murder. So, I'm not really sure you could call, it, call deduction. It's more plain observation. Indeed, an observation, my dear boy, is the basis of all this deduction. My method is founded upon the observation of trifles. You see, I announce my findings with a brassy certitude. And more often than not, I'm right. I don't think you introduced yourself. Ah, my apologies. How remiss of me. I am none other than the greatest detective of the century, known to men and women the world over. The inimitable Herlock Sholmes. <laughs> And it's his theme song, wonderful song that I listen on my phone. Very. Uh, I see, I see. Very, very often, yes. Also, I just realized they just switched uh, the ish and yes. the H from in his name. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. So it's really you, the actual Harlock Sholmes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> The very same, the in, in the inimitable actual Herlock Sholmes. There are so many memes about him. Do you know this man, Susatosan? The most famous detective in the whole world, Narhatosan. Of course I do. There's nobody who hasn't heard of him, Herlock Sholmes. <laughs> what, what plant have have I been living on then? We must ask him what he's deduced. He will have worked out the entire case already, I'm sure. Really? Why do I feel uneasy about this? Okay, let's talk. Mr. Herlock Sholmes. Great detective. So, you're a great detective, are you? Sorry, what is your name again? Indeed, I'm none other than the one and only Herlock Sholmes. Oh, I see. You are German, 
hair lock. Is it? <laughs> no, no, I have no hair. I mean, I have hair. Please call me Shoms. You can read all about my exploits in this exciting London publication. Oh yes, Rants Magazine, full of wonderful short stories and interest articles from Great Britain. I never miss an issue, I have seen it from England especially. Ah, yes, here it is, The Adventures of Herlock Shomps. Oh, it's an actual novel, right? But, yeah. Yes, so you are the protagonist in a series of short stories then? Indeed, I am. And you've read so many of your own stories, you've started to think you really are a detective? <laughs> <laughs> Make no mistake, I'm not poor, deluded fellow you take me for. Your inference is backward. Backward? My trusty biographer records my greatest detecting achievements and chronicles them in the magazine. You have a biographer, do you? Doesn't everyone? Mine goes by the name of Dr. Wilson, presently keeping a shop in London. Dr. Wilson? And then, yes, they changed Watson to Wilson yeah. in Japanese. In Japanese version is Dr. Watson. Yes, of course. I must say, thanks to that publication, I've been fantastically busy of late. Why, this very moment, I'm returning from Asia, having solved the mystery of a cursed royal crown. Really? I can't work out whether I should take this man seriously or not. Deduction, you see, is to me a science, logical reasoning in its purest form. Ah, uh, science? The astute observer notices him the most subtle of reactions in his subject. A furtive glance, a twitch of muscle, a slight inclination of the posture. Fingernails, arm sleeves, furrows in the skin, all these things are data. Right. And the trained logician makes the deductions from this data in the blink of an eye. The ultimate conclusion is without fail, the truth. As I demonstrated only a few short moments ago. How can he look me in the eye and claim that? So you see, I have a turner, both for observation and for deduction and fame. <laughs> that is what makes me the one and only her now, Herlock Shelmos. Shelms. <laughs> okay. Herlock Shelms. Have you managed to deduce anything about this particular case yet? Have I managed to deduce anything? My dear fellow, uh, Runeske, <laughs> my dear fellow, who do you suppose discovered the culprit in this most cunning hiding place? Uh, that's right. It was none other than, than a great detective before you now, Mr. Herlock Sholmes. Ah, uh, I see. In other words, I mean this because of him. <laughs> When I became anxious about Kazuma-sama uh, this morning, I summoned all the crew members to force the cabin door open. And I concealed myself among their number, gaining entry to the scene of the crime. Yes, uh, luckily for everyone, the great detective Herlock Shums was on board. And the handcuffs seemed to be an excellent fit, Mr. Narahoto. <coughs> The very moment I laid eyes on the scene, two facts were immediately apparent to me. Oh really? Two facts, you say? Two facts. Your oh, deduction just okay. Cool. Mr. Shams, tell us please, 
What two facts were apparent to you when you came into this cabin this morning? Ah yes, but first let us be precise. The two facts in question were immediately apparent to me. Yes, yes, I understand, but what were they? Allow me to elucidate. The two facts that I deduced from a mere momentary glance at the scene of the crime were as follows. Number one, the cabin was locked from within, rendering escape of the culprit out of the question. Number two, the victim was Russian and killed following a dispute with an acquaintance. Hold on, Mr. Schrons, what made you think the victim was Russian? Because, the, because of the word yeah. can't you Observe the dying message left by the victim on the floor. Garderoba, that is the Russian word for wardrobe. Do, do you really think Kazuma Sama could have left a dying message in Russian? In their final moments, many find their native tongue filling their heart. Head for this young Russian. <laughs> Kazuma was Russian, was he? Initially, I considered Garderob may be the name of the killer, a certain Robert Garde, perhaps. But in the interest of thoroughness, I decided it would be wrong not to look inside the wardrobe, wardrobe there at least. Where you found Mr. Naruhoto sleeping soundly? Quite so. I found you, the renowned Russian revolutionary killer. Why is it that I am Russian too? I observed that you were wearing the same attire as the victim. In other words, you were acquainted. And if my memory serves, that outfit is traditional dress of the Russian people. <laughs> okay. Yes, Russian people. As you want, Shoms. Our school uniforms are the traditional dress of the Russian people? I... I had no idea! <laughs> I had no idea the detective could get something so wrong. <laughs> I took a photograph of the victim and the message that I might analyze it for possible hidden details. This... This was taken immediately after the young man was discovered, before the body was removed. Yes, Kazuma had already been taken away when I woke up. It's the first time I've actually seen him like this. Are you alright, Mr. Naruhoto? Oh, um, yes, thank you. The photograph of the crime scene has been entered in the court record. Can I ask you something, Mr. Sholmes? What, pray? You mentioned Russia before as well, didn't you? You know, when you said I was a fearsome revolutionary fleeing from Russia and all of that. Ah, yes. The train of reason that led me to the truth. Do you mind explaining the train of reason to me, do you think? Konech, no. Certainly, if it interests you. How many times? I'm not Russian, I don't speak Russian. <laughs> okay, your deduction just now. Um, can we talk about your deduction before? The things you concluded about me, I mean. Ah, the now famously ac accurate, troubling, troubling predicament you find yourself in. Actually, it was the other details that I was hoping to discuss. You know, the Messiah's Russian Revolution and Assassin of Sixteen, I part. Ah yes, the more sordid details. It's a fairly commonplace deduction. Here we have this morning's paper. The main headline reads... Revolutionary Wyden Bolshevik flees Russia via Shanghai. Revolutionary Wyden Bolshevik убегает из России через Шанхай. Revolutionary убегает. 
Я почитал на русском. I read it in Russian. Oh, I see. Его, его цель — хрустальная башня. His goal uh, — crystal tower. The phrase. Uh, <laughs> it sounds so funny when you try to speak in Russian. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This whistle made a, part, a port call at Shanghai yesterday. And, and last night the young Russian was murdered. This one was Kazuma in Russian. It sounds like Mr. Sholmes has concluded he was Russian because of what Kazuma Sama wrote on the floor. It was a simple act of reasoning to realize that the culprit of this crime was the same merciless revolutionary. One who would kill the very man who helped him to escape after his true identity was discovered. Yes, you, William Bershuk. <laughs> William Bershuk. No, 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 how could it be me? How it could be me? I don't look anything like this man, just look at his face. <laughs> Well, you are a fearsome revolutionary after all. No, I'm not. Therefore, you have no doubt learned to revolutionize your appearance as well. <coughs> Please. And I might add, your name does not appear on the ship's passenger list. Need I say more? Well, that's because I'm a stowaway. What about the other details? The 16 victims of assassination and blowing up the crystal tower? Ah yes, the journalist clearly interviewed the man and printed all those particulars in the article. The deeds the man has perpetuated thus far and those he is plotting. Yes, everything about this revolutionary Bolshevik was included. There can be no mistake. Do, do revolutionaries usually agree to interviews with newspaper reporters, I wonder? What about the part where you said I was just joining from Afghanistan? Also quite clearly stated here in this article. Bolshevik is recently returned after a period of sub subversive activities in a war-torn region of Afghanistan. We even need it anyway. This Afghanistan place. Here, take the paper for yourself as a little memento of this great deduction. Oh, um, thank you. I've observed all uh, that is of interest to me within these pages, but I see no rubbish bin nearby. And you may find the article on the back of. Uh, back page of interest as well. On the back? Cast your eye over it sometime if the in interest takes you. For you may need someone to interp interpret. So written in Russian, couldn't hope to read it. But I suppose it wouldn't hurt just to glance at the article. Maybe there might be a picture of two. Before we started talking, you were examining Kazuma's desk, weren't you? Kazuma? Yes, the victim. Did you notice anything useful? Anything at all? Observe for a moment the desktop of the victim. We see that the victim was engaged in penning some text. London Diary. Cosmos keeping notes of the trip. Ah, but. I don't think you should read his private writings. It could upset people. Tragic. And something you ought to perhaps elucidate before the act of reading. You you mean you've read it already? It's my business to know what other people do not. Yes, believe it or not, I know a smattering of Japanese. Oh, I see. Well, you are about to know what the suicide takedown is. Sato-san, aren't you going to follow the detective with one of your trademark takedowns? I'm sorry, Naruto-san. 
What on earth do you mean, Alo? The hypocrisy. Oh. Life is so unfair. <laughs> Life is simply unfair. <laughs> Have you played Zero Escape, by the way? What? Have you played the game, uh, series Zero Escape? Uh, call the name one more time, I can Zero Escape, uh, 9 hours, 9 Zero. versus 9 dollars. Zero Escape, uh... No, I didn't. Oh, I see, then that's definitely a game you should definitely play. Anyway, you read this, return... right? Anyway, to return to the matter at hand, namely the style belonging to the victim, it will appear the final sentence is incomplete, as if the author were, author were cut short. Tell me, what is the nature of the writing? Pray be precise as to details. Oh, but I thought you knew Japanese? A smattering, dear boy, a smattering. Wait, what? <laughs> Sayonara, bonsai, mikato, nato nato. I trust you suitably impressed. <laughs> I don't know any of these words besides. I'm mean, sayonara, sayonara means goodbye. And uh, uh, I yes, don't know I the know others. Sayonara. I what? also don't know the others. <laughs> yeah. Huh. <sighs> but this diary is littered with complicated looking characters, which I can read precisely none. <laughs> Yeah, it's kanji, it's all kanji. So what was all this showing off bef about before then? If you will be so kind as to show me, I will be happy to read it for you, Mr. Sholmes. I'm much obliged, my dear madam. The final entry here in Kazuma-sama's diary consists of just two short sentences. The first reads... 1.23 a.m. I can hear a faint whistling sound. A whistling sound? Hmm, these are very deep waters. Pray go on. <laughs> Maybe something like that. The second sentence reads 1.45 a.m. What looks like some sort of a speckled band is dangling from the ventilator grill. Speckled band? What on earth does that mean? I have no idea. I've never heard that expression before. Hmm, the ventilator grill, you say? The man was presumably referring... Da da da. To the lattice there on the wall, which con connects to the adjoining cabin. Yes, the adjoining cabin. Cosmos Daddy has been added. So I believe I've given you enough to consider for the time being at least. Ah, do you have somewhere to go? As it happens, the victims writing in his diary have uh, piqued my interest. The matter warrants further investigation, I believe. Now, if I'm still too long, the seasickness takes hold. Oh, I suppose. I think of investigating the cabin next door, which the ventilator connects to. Great detectives are a curious breed. Our minds revel at stagnation. We crave mental exaltation. So oh, yes, I intend to investigate. Hence the truth will become clear soon enough. Do you think perhaps that we could go with you? Hmm, no. That will be somewhat complicated. What? But why? A simple glance at your wrist should reveal the answer. Yes. <laughs> oh, please. After all, you're the prime suspect in this matter, no? There's no point trying to turn it into question. You're the one who decided I was a culprit in the first place. 
Whatever do you mean? I have no recollection of naming you as the culprit at any point. You must be joking. You you just said it only a moment ago. Dear me, you are clearly misguided. I'll have no cause to say such a thing. Well, actually, Mr. Sholmes, I did hear you say that too. You guys, you're quite sure. Well, that's very strange. I wouldn't have said you had the face of a criminal, you know. Not really. So what? Were you looking at my knees before? Some great detective you are. Well, anyway, there was then and this is now. What do you mean? <laughs> what I mean, sir, is this. If you are the culprit, then you must play the part more convincingly. Roll lower and accept your fate. <laughs> <laughs> Now he's just been plain rude. He's fine again. And off he goes, having just laughed in my face. His sense of humor is twisted as his name. Naruto-san, what are you just standing there for? Hmm? We must go and investigate the cabin next door as well. Aren't you forgetting something? What about this? There is no way I can... Hiya! <laughs> After Kazuma-sama spent his time moments struggling to leave us a clue, you're willing to give up? You're just going to roll over and accept your fate? Uh, as if you gave me any choice in the rolling over part. I think we still have some investigation to finish off in here first, don't we? Let's carry on examining what we can in this cabin while we wait for a chance to sleep next door. Good idea! The situation doesn't look good for me, but there are still things I can do to help myself. And I owe it to Kazuma to do everything I can to find a way out of this and bring the real culprit to justice. Thanks to that so-called detective, I'm even more stuck inside the cabin, the, this cabin than I was before. For the time being, I suppose I just have to focus my efforts on investigating uh -huh. here. Okay, what we didn't investigate, dear fellow. Maybe the light? Did we investigate the lantern? Above? Yes, I, I can't investigate. Oh, it. I see. Hmm, maybe the picture? I can't investigate oh, okay. the picture. We already investigated everything. Wait, what's that photograph? Like the bloody... Yeah, I think we talked about this. That camera on the ground. Uh, a photograph? No, I mean... What is that thing on the ground? Oh, the, the ink. The ink. The ink on the ground. It's not a photograph, I mean. I can't examine the Oh computer. yeah, we already did it, okay. I think we talked about ha. Huh. Now that's... Oh, okay. When I went for help and the crewmen forced the door open... This bolt had been firmly closed. Hmm, it's quite a small bolt and not particularly sturdy. It just slides across to secure the door shut. But still, with the door bolted, there would be no way to get in or out of the cabin, that's for sure. It's no wonder everyone suspects me. When she glares at me like that, I feel tense all up and down my spine. I, I remember reading once in a detective novel, the culprit used a needle and thread to draw a bolt across from outside the room and station like this. Yes, that's a clever trick, isn't it? I'm an avid reader of detective stories myself. But the door of this cabin and its frames are made of metal, and they seal together perfectly. There will be no possibility of using that needle and thread trick here, I'm afraid. 
Oh yeah. What yeah, I that? actually re know uh, that trick and I know that trick from uh, uh, Death Note uh, BB Case uh, novel. There was that one novel where it used exactly this trick. Death Note Baby Case? No, no, Death Note Long Los Angeles uh, BB Murder Case. BB. BB yeah, yeah. Murder Case. Yeah, that's one case I know <laughs> that uses this red okay. trick. When she gives me a fake like that, I feel pins and needles all up and down my spine. Oh, look over there. The crewman, do you mean? He wasn't there before, was he? That's what I thought. Why don't we try well, to talking to him? Sister, where are they appearing from? <laughs> I don't know. Probably because I'm likely to get yelled at again. But I suppose I could try. Hello, dear boy. Is that... Is something wrong, Naruto-san? Oh, no, it's just that crewman standing by the door. I can't help feel like I've seen him somewhere before. Oh, yes, you're right. He does look sim familiar. Excuse me, sir. Yes, what can I do for you? Wait, is that Susato? You know who is Susato Hosanaga-san? Hosanaga-san, <laughs> Hosanaga. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, he he is even in the, in the very same pose. <laughs> yeah. Has that face, but but it can be. Uh, um. It is. Uh, I didn't know you were here, Inspector Hosanaga. Hello again. What are you doing here? I think that should be my line. I was so stunned when I saw you, my heart stopped. If your heart stopped, you should be dead already. Nearly stopped, I hope. Yes, Susata. <laughs> I received some special orders to go undercover as a member of the crew and board this ship. Again? You certainly seem to enjoy undercover work, Inspector. If there's anything I can do to help, help you, please ask. I never expected to see this man on board, but perhaps his presence can help me out of this hopeless situation. Special orders. So what do you by your special orders this time, Inspector? Yes, and why are you dressed as a member of the crew? I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. I take full responsibility. For for what? My orders were to act as Asogi-san's bodyguard. Oh, I see. It was the Minister of Justice Jigoku who pushed for this OC study tour to go ahead. And he entrusted me with the ensuring that asogi san reached Great Britain without being assassinated. Assassinated? How, how could that even have been a possibility? I'm not sure. But these are complicated times. There are tensions between the world's greatest powers. Minister Jigoku said we should be prepared for all eventualities. This is incredible. I I don't believe it. Kazuma Sama was assassinated? Oh wait, a funny thing. Jigoku means hell. So that's yes. funny. <laughs> Obviously, we can only give asogi a visible security escort. Oh my god. <laughs> Which is why I'm undercover now, posing as one of the crew. I see. And I, and I didn't take my eyes off him the entire time we've been on board, from morning until night, every day. 
But I never imagined it would happen here inside his own cabin. No, not here on the first class desk. I failed miserably at, at my assignment, and Asogi san is dead as a result. I am a disgrace. All I can do is humbly apologize. So if there's anything at all that I can do to help now, just say the word. Give us permission to investigate. Awesome. We're doing what we can to investigate Cosmos' death ourselves. I thought you might be here. You didn't do it, did you? You're not the killer. Of course not. We'd really like to investigate the cabin next door. Yes, so we need to be allowed out of this cabin. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's probably what? not in Japan, so he doesn't have the power. You've been deemed yes. a risk to the ship's safety, yeah. If you move to even touch the handle of the cabin door. Wait, he said he's undercover, so he's not actually a detective now. Yeah, that stormy looking seaman there will surely snap your neck in two. I suppose I'm not just a stowaway now, I think I'm a murderer as well. Would it be possible to give something to work with? Do you think? I'm going to need something persuasive. What do you mean? If I had solved the reason why the next door cabin should be invest investigated, for example, I'd do everything I could to persuade the captain to allow it. Really, I'd lay my life on the line if I had to. But I don't see how. There may be a way. What? Really? Think of how you tried to persuade me of your innocence, Narhata-san. By presenting me with a piece of evidence that you all already had in your possession. About this, what is in my possession? Wait. Maybe wait. crime scene photograph. Really? Okay. Evidence? It's just the same as when you were in court. You must have done it many times during your trial. Simply select the present panel and choose some evidence that the inspector of Sanaga could use. So, evidence would give us a viable reason to investigate the next door cabin, is it? Yeah. Right, yes, I, I think I might know what we can use. Let's see if I can present the detective with the evidence he needs to persuade the captain. Um, a crime scene photograph article about Virginia Rock Cosmos Diary. I still think it's that tape again. But, you know, if you have any other ideas, you could try. Let's try Cosmos Diary, because it was said something about the speckled band. Yeah, okay. Possibly. What's that? It's Cosmos Diary. Just before he died, Kazuma Sama wrote something right strange in his diary. Strange? In what way? Yeah, he's just talking about the band. He wrote, what looks like some kind of a speckled band is dangling from the ventilator grill. A speckled brand? That is strange. Maybe someone entered into this room through the ventilator. That was my theory. I was thinking about it. In that uh, uh, yes. Uh... He described it as a speckled band. Maybe it was some kind of rope? Yeah, maybe. Yes, we're still trying to work out what he meant by that. But what I'd like to know is... Don't tell me. The ventilator, is it? You're very astute, Inspector. That ventilator clearly joins the next door cabin. That's right, so if you could investigate in there, we might be able to work out what speckled, what speckled belt was. 
All right then. I can't leave this cabin at the moment. I'm stuck here until we arrive at the next port. <coughs> the captain has given me strict orders to guard the scene of the crime, you see. I'll have to entrust the investigation to you. Really? You're willing to do that? Yes, as long as you do, do, don't leave the first class cabin area, I'm afraid I can't remove the, those hand, handcuffs, bro. But what about the captain? Is you going against his order, his direct orders? I'm a man of my word. And I promise you that I'll lay my life on the line if that's what it takes to convince the captain. After all, I failed to keep Asogi Sanos safe. This is the least I can do. Thank you. Let's seize this moment then, Naruhoto-san. Just select move and we can leave this cabin at last. Move. Alright, let's see what we can find out. Phew. I'm fan out of that cabin. I have to admit, this isn't quite what I was expecting. It's less spacious out here than I thought it would be, and this is the most luxurious accommodation. Yes, indeed. Kazuma Sama was being sent on the study tour by the government. That's why he was being kept up in a first class cabin. Even still, this is about twice as large as my accommodation in Steerage. Really? That must be awful. Oh, look over there. It's not a crewman keeping watch. He looks enormous, and he's sitting down. The door next to him leads to the second class accommodation. I suppose he's making sure no one comes in here who shouldn't. I suppose, like people in handcuffs? Naruhoto-san, you look like a little boy visiting a toy shop for the first time. I would have thought you'd be used to the ship by now. We've been at sea for two weeks already. Well, yes, I know. But the thing is, I was inside Kazuma's trunk when I first came aboard. And ever since then I've been shut up inside the little wardrobe. It must have been a very trying time for you. Please don't give me that beating look. Okay, so... Uh, yes, I want to go to that cabin. This is it. This is the, la the cabin next to ours. The one with the ventilator connects to, connects to. Yes, the ventilator from which Kazuma-sama wrote that he saw a speckled band emerging. Maybe whoever in this cabin can help solve that particular mystery, let's ask. Oh. Oh, um, may I was acting, please? Excuse me, we um need to get inside the, this cabin here. This sailor's eyes speak volumes. They're clearly saying, keep out. That's what I wrote on the sign we put over the wardrobe doors. Although this man's version is definitely more effective. It doesn't look like he's going to let us pass. Hmm, that's a problem. Okay. Let's wish what this book is. It's a huge book on top of the table there. There's a pen next to it. Yes, that looks like the ship's log. Shall we have a little look through it? The writing is so neat and precise, every detail about the voyage has been meticulously recorded. Hmm, you would expect a rough and ready sailor to have such, a, such beautiful handwriting. 
Hmm. And nothing. No reaction at all. I thought he might appreciate the compliment. Or maybe he just didn't understand you. I'm not sure that Ruffin really is much of a compliment, Narahotosa, even to a sailor. Anyway, last night's log is mostly blank. Presumably, uh, that means there was nothing to report. Nobody came, huh? Hmm, you're very, you're very sus, Mr. Sailor. I mean, yeah, it also means this guy could, like, do it. Um, excuse me, but could I ask you something? You? You little stowaway murderer! That was a good start, was it? Alright, let me try instead. <laughs> 